Hello, everyone. Hello for those that are joining us just for this class, the meditation pranayama. And hello again for those that were in the class before with Ian. I want you to set up for your uh, meditation practice. So if you have some incense, it's a great way to um, awaken your smell sense with uh, a smell that will calm you down. Uh, incense is great or essential oils. So if you diffuse essential oils, anything from cedarwood or lavender, this kind of calming oils, frank frankincense and, and so on. I also want you to sit comfortably. You don't have to be seated on the floor. You do not have to be cross-legged like we are. If you have a chair, your dining chair, uh, the sofa, sitting on the edge of the sofa is good enough. As long as you're comfortable and you're not going to be with back pain or pain in your hips uh, for sitting for a half an hour, which is the time of the class. Have your lights a little bit dim, nothing too bright. Close the door in the room that you're in and make sure that at least for the half an hour you're uh, in this class, you're not going to be interrupted or as long as you know it's in your control, you're not going to be interrupted. So put mobile phones in another room if they are not already and uh, ask the people in the house to just leave you um, undisturbed for the next half an hour. We're going to start our practice with Nadi Shodhana. Nadi Shodhana is a pranayama, a breathing exercise or a breathing technique to calm the nervous system down, to regulate our respiratory system and also to regulate the nervous system. I'll explain you first how we do Nadi Shodhana. Some of you know already from doing in class or if you forgot, you have a reminder here. So with Nadi Shodhana, with the two peace fingers, we place them in the forehead, activating into our third eye chakra. And then your other finger and your thumb are going to press into the nostrils. So you're going to block the right nostril, two fingers in the middle of the forehead, and then you inhale through the left side. Cover the left nostril, exhale through the right. Inhale through the right. Cover, exhale through the left. Keep going. And notice if you're rushing into the breath. So sometimes we are so used to just breathe very short and quick. Notice if that's happening with Nadi Shodhana and change it. Make it slower and longer. Slower inhales and long, slower and longer exhales. Closing the eyes and just filling into your breath. If the nose is a bit blocked, then do what you can. If you need to maybe unblock it a little bit, or if you need to breathe slower, be more patient with your breath, then do that. Find it useful to add a count. So you might inhale for six and then exhale for the same count of six. And if your arm is starting to get achy, you can change the arm and just use your left arm if you were using the right. Change and then use the other arm to rest the one that it's aching. Nadi Shodhana is a balancing breath. 
balances the right side of the brain with the left side of the brain. The right side of the brain is usually the more creative, spontaneous, energetic, and the left side of the brain is the one that finds the logic, the structure, the cooler side of the brain. And depending on our personality, we have a tendency to be more on the right side of the brain or on the left side of the brain. And sometimes even depending on what's going on in our lives, we might have one more active than the other. With Nadi Shodana, we are wanting to balance these two energies, these two frequencies. Finish the round you're in, do one more. And then as you're doing your one more round, we're going to also then add a retention. So when you inhale through the left, you hold the breath for as long as you can. It could be just the one or two count. You exhale through the right. Hold the breath. Not too long, especially in the beginning. And then inhale through the right. Hold the breath not forcing, not straining your lungs, and then exhale through the left. Hold the breath and do the same sequence again. Taking your time, there's no rush. Change arms if you're feeling tired from having one arm up. And notice what happens when you hold the breath. What emotions are coming up? Are you feeling even more relaxed or are you feeling a bit more tensed up? And very often, there's nothing to change. It's just a question of being aware how you're feeling. Finish the round you're in and then do one last one. And when you finish the round, just stay with your hands onto your knees with your eyes closed. Once you finish your Nadi Shodana, you can just rest with your eyes closed, breathing normally.
and in this place where you feel calmer, quieter, and more grounded, especially more connected to your breath. Noticing how your body is just sinking into the posture. But if there is still some areas where you're holding on, maybe there is still some tightness around the shoulders. Or around the jaw. Or the forehead. Allow it to let go completely. Use the exhales to melt away any tension. And in this place of complete surrendering, bring your attention into the root chakra. The root chakra located around the pelvic floor. Root chakra in Sanskrit called Muladhara. Chakra is just the energy center located at different parts of the body. Generating the energy that it needs to give us the focus, give us the direction or to broadcast any signals that our body needs. And in the, in the root chakra, it's where we gain our sense of self, the I am. of the color red is the first color we see when we are born. Is where we establish our roots. Roots with our life, foundations, with job, house, family, relationships, and roots within us. It's where our sense of survival exists. And in these times that we are living, the root chakra is usually unbalanced. The emotion of fear is predominant. As our external world makes us feel scared and fearful for what lies, lies ahead of us. So during this meditation, we're just going to bring our focus into the pelvic floor area. I'm just going to visualize this red energy ball, energy circle, vibrant, 
full of life. And be confident at the roots we've created, the foundations we've created are strong. The illusion that they are weak is just an illusion. Connecting within and finding our inner strength is all that we need now. Relying on our external senses will make us more fearful. So withdraw your senses and connect within. Chakras are also located where the glands in our body are. And the glands produce hormones, hormones that broadcast signals to our body. And consequently, the glands receive signals from the brain. Closing our eyes, tuning in with our breath. Allow us to send a signal to the root chakra that we are safe. We are part of something so much bigger. so much more strength inside of us. The troubles and conflicts of the external world can only affect our internal world if we allow it. At any time during your days, if you need to connect to your inner world, which is peaceful, brave, clear, prosperous, with hope. Just close the eyes and breathe, feeling your breath. The breath flows without our interference. Life flows without our interference. Surrender to that flow.
And in this place of silence, there is nothing to do. But simply enjoy the nothingness, the emptiness. The more comfortable we are with emptiness, nothingness, and the unknown, the less fearful we will be about tomorrow, about next week, about next month or next year. And if the mind is still active, wandering off into places, images, or thoughts, that's okay, just keep bringing your focus into your breath, or into your root chakra, the area of the pelvic floor, or into the red energy circle. We don't need anything else to balance our chakras, to balance ourselves. We only need awareness and silence. In a meditation practice, that's all we need to be in a place where the volume of the thoughts starts to lower, the volume of the world around starts to lower.
and everything becomes more silence. Allowing the body to have the energy that it needs to start healing from any unbalance, any wound, any trauma. Start to breathe deeply. Bring your awareness back into the room. And before you open the eyes, I want you to bring the hands together and just rub the hands together, creating heat in your hands. Now cup your hands into your eyes with your eyes closed, absorbing the heat from through the eyelids. Keeping the eyes closed, rub the hands again. It one more time. And slowly you can start to open the eyes. Thank you, everyone.